know, everybody looked at the jobs report and they're, oh, it's, it's a lot less people than, 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 it, than it should be. Of course, we know that all these job reports have been, uh, the, the, the number of people got employed have been going up by quite a bit, much more than what's shown on, as the official initial number that goes up quite a bit. But it's even deeper than that. We have a change in the way the economy runs. But you know who gets it? Leesman does. Check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. Steve, walk me through this number. It's confusing. There's two different reports here that people need to know about. There's one report that gets data from the from the employers, another report where the government calls up people and asks them their status. The number you're looking at right now, that's from the payroll report. That's 199,000. That number has been running very low on the initial reporting. And what they're doing is they've been revising up continuously this initial report. I'll give you an example. They added back 141,000 additional jobs to October, November. The number underneath that number, the unemployment rate, comes from the household survey. I think at the end of the day, Stephanie, people should not be overly confused or overwhelmed by the data, the unemployment rate is what you need to know. It tells you the number of people who want to work and the number of people who are unemployed. You had a 480,000 decline in the number of unemployed. You had uh, a huge number of people employed in the household survey. So I think every other piece of data that I see says this job market is strong and that top line payroll number of 199,000 is not going to deter me from that, uh, um, from that conclusion because so many employers are saying jobs are hard to get. That quit number you talked about tells me that the labor market is tight and I'm not going to be deterred by that top line number. It is great to see the, the, the worker gain in their independence. A lot of them are working from home. 60 Minutes did a piece today where they saw people just take, they're creating their own jobs. They're, they're, they're mixing and matching different jobs, different employers together that are that giving them 1099 type salaries. Look, it's a worker's world and it should remain a worker's world, not indefinitely, but permanently. Uh, this, this jobs report, again, it's the jobs report based on, uh, based on the employer given wages. What about those folks who've decided to do it a different way? It's, it's going very well. So don't be fooled by the jobs report. Don't allow yourself to get the belief that somehow progressives and Democrats and Biden are bad for jobs. Because the reality is, if you want jobs, if you take a look at under what types of administrations the most jobs are created, let's remember that it's definitely not that of the right. Because again, that methodology creates very little and it transfers much to those who least work for it and least deserve it. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.